Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I feel like I start every video like this. So today, I will be starting Vlogmas. Last time I did Vlogmas, I failed miserably. <laughs> I think I did six days or so, and the other day when I was watching them, which is the reason why I'm doing it now, but I'll tell you about that. When I was watching them, I realized I made a lot of like little mistakes and inserted clips where they didn't need to be. And that's because I was exhausted. I did not want to like keep going. <laughs> it was too much. But I think this year, since I'm teaching from home and things are a little bit more flexible, it'll be easier for me to do it. However, I don't think it'll be as exciting because I'm not really going anywhere and it's not that fun. But, um, as I was watching them, like I said, I was watching my old videos and I just got this like nice feeling of like being able to see myself like grow and see the things that I've done, see like the places that I've been and all that, all those nice memories is really lovely to have. And I think in general, just to have a platform where I am able to talk and express myself and perhaps for other people to get to know me who don't normally norm know me in a personal level. So that's that. So I'm going to try it out and see. Let's hope we at least get to 10 days. Um, and I hope it's somewhat exciting to watch because like I said, there isn't a lot of things to do. So um, I will be trying to do other things in there. So I think for today I have planned that I'm going to show you around the classroom or my home classroom. A different day I will show you around my real classroom <laughs> um just like routines and things that I do maybe like a day in the life of a teacher virtual learning um things like that so it's a little bit like more like it's so it's a little bit less dull <laughs> so that's that so welcome to day number one and um today is actually November 30th and the reason why I want to just get started today is because I'm afraid I'm gonna fall behind so <laughs> I want to make sure that I have today filmed and this afternoon to kind of edit and all that and put it up tomorrow and then we'll keep going from there but um I'm excited um should be fun to do I love filming videos and I often do film them but um I end up not editing or uploading them because that's the part that's like not fun it requires a lot of work to do so the filming is lovely, but <laughs> the editing is not. So that's where I run into trouble. But uh, yeah, so welcome to my life and to Vlogmas. And let's see how long I can keep this up for. All right, so I thought I'd start off with the tour of my uh, little office and classroom for virtual learning. So I decorated a little bit for um, Christmas and the holidays. So you'll see a little bit of that. I don't actually have a lot of Christmas decor for the classroom. Okay, so I will start off over here. I have a couple of little trees um, that I put there and um, my agenda and like calendar and all that and a couple of bins down here. I feel like it's super helpful to have a clock um, digital clock to look at although I do have a couple on my computer on my laptops and my phone to look at I feel like it's you know easy just to look up and then be able to see the time it keeps me on track and ready for my lessons so um, I'm gonna make this a little lower. so down here I have a couple of bins and um, these just have like the things that are, some books and teacher resources that I need. They're in this, these bins because they're kind of out of the way this way. And over here I have a couple of pillows and some read out louds and classroom materials that I'm using with the kids. So that's that. And if I put the pillows in here, it looks a little bit cleaner. <laughs> um, up here I just have a couple of trees, my own decoration. No one's seen this really, but just me. I wish there was better lightning, but it's gloomy and rainy outside. Here I have my Erin Condrid, um, what is this called? Binder um, agenda planner. Uh, this is a monthly planner. I'll be honest, this is probably what I use it most for. It also has like the monthlies, uh, the weekly things. Like it has one of these in the front. 
and then the weekly layout. I'll schedule some in sometimes and I'll forget other times. But that's that. Um, this one, since Erin Condren does start in July, they release their new ones in July. This one goes all the way to um, next December, I believe. Yeah, so it's a whole, I have a full year. I didn't realize this uh, until like yesterday. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. I mostly use the monthly because that's helpful for me for um, just to have an overview of what I'm doing this month. But I also use my um, iPad and computer um, calendar to do that. So I don't know how helpful it is for me to have all these <laughs> calendars and planners that I buy every year. So here I have my backpack. I put this one on my Instagram. Sorry, that's my dog. And it's really nice um, and spacey. It has like a lot of compartments and it's helpful to have. So I keep that here just in case I need to go to my actual classroom and take anything there. Here I just have an order and I'll show you that later, I guess. Uh, here I have a mirror that's very dirty <laughs> and my outfit for today, it's just a little sweater and leggings. Usually that's what I'm wearing because no one really sees me but my upper body. So that's a scale, a little bin with like other feature stuff. Um, then I have um, my little table that I pull up for some work sometimes. Um, this is um, helpful. I usually have the page of my planner that I'm doing that week so I can use it as a to-do list. J that's And that's just so I can use my planner because I never do. And here I have some notes, a um, little decoration, Google Home controller. I usually put on the fireplace <laughs> on my TV with the crackling sound. And that's just really, again, for me. Here I have other stuff that I um, use. So I have my laminator, some math uh, material bins like cubes and such for demonstration, laminating sheets. This thing is pretty cool. Um, you can put your iPad over here. Ugh, I'll show you a different time. <laughs> you can move this, put your iPad there and use it as a, what is that called? And a projector, but... Oh dear, I'm blanking out on the name, but so the kids can see what I'm actually working on. And I usually do that here and the kids can see what I'm doing with my hands as like real life instead of a Google um, doc. Anyway, so this is my sofa, my little area. I have some lights that I put up for the holidays and this thing that I kind of want to hang up, but then I have to put um, hooks on again and I don't know if I want to do that, but that's that. And then I have this uh, new um, blanket that I got from Amazon. It's super, super cozy. And it's just, it, it gets cold in here. And so I'm home, so why not? And then I have my two little pillows. This is my computer setup. So I have my two laptops here. This is my school one, and this is my personal one. But uh, I use both, and I can show you more about that, like when we... I show you like how I'm teaching and whatnot. But this one is usually for like any presentation, anything like school related. And this one I just have on so I can see my students because um, we use um, Microsoft Teams. And so when you're presenting, you can't see anyone. <laughs> that's helpful, right? And then um, when you, so that's why I'm logged in as myself again here. That way I can see all the kids and this one I can present in. Here is just my light, so I, um, I'm i a little bit brighter and better um, looking, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I can be uh, like, you know, a little bit more clear for the kids. Um, I do have a window behind me, so that's not very helpful um, to have. So the light is kind of drawn out, but um, this helps a lot. And I've been thinking about putting like poster board paper behind me. That way it's not so bright. All right, oh, I don't think I showed you my shoes. Uh, I just have these little guys all the time. And my rug is dirty because my dog sheds a lot. <laughs> all right, so I also have a little tree here. Just no ornaments or anything, just little lights. It's an optic fiber tree, so it's by itself like that. And I put other, uh, these little guys here, so cute. So 
I think so my kids can see everything I will kind of like angle this my area like this so they can see the tree and then the lights and all that and for the lights this is what I got um let me see how do you turn it on so on and it has different settings so you can do all kind of different colors or you can have like this little flash thing on so yeah, that's pretty cute um i didn't tell you but inside these things i just have like some like pencils and school supplies and it's a hot mess so i don't want to show you <laughs> um here i have like my student names um and for whenever i have any completed work or anything that i'm doing with them i just file them in there here i have like a teacher planner which doesn't have a lot because I mostly told you like I plan on online on Google Docs. Google Docs is my life. <laughs> That's why I do everything. So although I would like to do like some paper stuff, I usually always do things there. Here, um, this is my like planning stuff for like curriculum. And so I have like all the quarters here and it's um, by every... Um, subject and quarter so that's really helpful for because i usually have like a million tabs open so it's nice to have like this and simple like that so this is like all the recorded standards first quarter everything that we're teaching and things like that i also have this on google docs of course start so i'm i can get there easily but it's nice to have it in hand like that so i only have to print that like once in a quarter all right, so I guess I can tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing today. I have somewhat of a busy day because um, I have to do like, today is Monday, which I should have mentioned. Um, Mondays are asynchronous day for our students. So I don't get to see them today, but I will get to see them Tuesday through Thursday. So today is mostly like a teacher planning day and getting um, things ready for them for the week. So today I actually had a meeting at 8 15 and it went to around nine ish and then i started doing other things my computer actually froze and started like making all this noise so that yeah, was lovely <laughs> troubleshoot that and so now i'm basically having to plan for the week i'll make my slides and my plans uh, we've kind of already done that as a team but i have to like move pieces here and there in order to fit my class and um what i'm going to do uh, specifically for my students so that's that i also have a ton of work to do for my classes for grad school i have a big project due today at midnight which i have to get done soon um i do have a meeting for work at one today and it looks like it'll be about an hour long um what else um, I'm getting breakfast and coffee delivered. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Oh, 